Hey, Bulls and Bears, Merry Christmas Eve, Merry Christmas. You may be watching this on Christmas. I probably won't put out a video on Christmas. So here we are, December 24th, 2021. I hope everyone's doing well. And I just want to take this time to say Happy Holidays, Merry Christmas, whatever it is that you celebrate, that I hope you're doing well. But I also want to make sure that we recognize and realize and be thankful for what we have and i want to give a special hello and prayer to the people that are watching this channel that have been on this channel that i know are not going through very good times right now we've got the tornado effects all through kentucky and those other states over there um i've got a couple people that i know are homeless that are on this channel one person living one person living in his car right now actually says that he's living in a 24-hour fitness parking lot and uh that's a pretty good strategy i mean if you're going to be homeless if you could still afford a vehicle at least at a 24-hour fitness 24 hours a day you can go get a shower get cleaned up and uh you're living in the parking lot could be worse right uh could be on the street or the sidewalk somewhere so hopefully you keep the car registered and they don't try to take away your car for not paying the registration um it's real tough you know nowadays with all the fees and things we have to do just to try to stay alive. Uh, so William Sanders, I have seen your comments. Thank you so much for being here. I know that I think you're the one that said you're living in your car, 24 hour fitness. So Daniel Torrens or Torrens, I also see you down in comments and you said your whole town of, I think Mayfield, Kentucky had been wiped out and that you're going through some not so good times and you're still looking for um, whatever you can find in the destruction so you know uh, if you're doing good if you have a roof over your head if you have meals to eat if you're warm if you're with your family even if you're not with your family if you're just doing okay you have a roof over your head right now uh, please be thankful and please uh, think about and maybe even pray for the people that are having tough times right now a lot of homelessness and uh, food insecurity happening right now so i don't like to dwell on the negative but let's acknowledge you know that there's a lot of um people out there having some very difficult times right now. Uh, for myself, 2021's been a pretty good year. I can't complain and I'm thankful. And I thank, I thank all you for being here on this channel. This has been a nice outlet for me. It's taught me a lot during the year 2021. And I'm sure I'm gonna put out a couple more videos before the end of the year, but I just wanted to kind of reflect on uh, what we've seen here in 2021 and get into some news. So some financial economic news First, here's a quick video that I took here just a couple days ago. And this is at a drive through at an Arby's restaurant off the uh, out here in East County, San Diego, off the 67 freeway. And I was out here about a year ago at the same drive through and I didn't notice this uh, encampment, but it's right as you are going through the drive through I actually got my food looped back around so I could take this video because I didn't want to sit there and order and try to film at the same time got my food and yeah i eat fast food sometimes i'm not perfect uh so got my arby's food came back around so i can film this this is right literally at the drive through at an arby's restaurant off the 67 freeway and you see some person out here uh, looks like hanging out there and it's not just the temporary setup they've got chairs they've got basically an encampment out here and this is again something i didn't see just past last year maybe about a year ago when i was out there last time so things are continuing to get worse and that's why i like to uh, make sure that we all remind ourselves uh that it's not that difficult to be in a position where you might end up staying in a place like this and um, i believe this is a church right behind here and i'm wondering if the church is ever going to open their doors and try to help anybody uh, that really needs help um, it's pretty interesting. All right, let's talk about some recent news. First, food insecurity. Uh, well, for millions of people, things are not getting better. Let's take a look at some recent articles here. Uh, here's a recent article I found out of uh, Georgia. Food banks see elevated demand despite economic rebound. So when we see headlines like this, and when we read stories like this, we have to ask ourselves, who is the economic rebound really affecting in a positive way. Um, some may say, what economic rebound? 
And uh, when they say rebound, when we see these news reports of this economic recovery, this V-shaped recovery, this economic rebound, many different names uh, that they're giving it, um, do they really mean that it's the top 10% or maybe just a certain group that's rebounding? Because I see a lot of people that are not rebounding and I see a lot of people that are uh, you know, on the edge financially and uh, kind of skating on thin ice, you know, uh, unfortunately, financially. And I've tried to um, urge people to consider putting some cash away. It's on one hand, it's tough because you see prices rising and you don't know when, if and when it's going to stop. So you want to spend the money now because whatever you need to buy or whatever you might need might be twice as expensive next year. Who knows? So it is tough to put away some cash, but you have to have that emergency fund, in my opinion. Also, if prices do correct, if we do see some sort of a glitch or a blackout event or banking crisis, um, you're going to want to have some cash to be able to buy when things go on sale, whether it's stocks, real estate, uh, what other investments you might see decline in price for whatever reason. Um, right now, the way things are moving upward, it's uh, very difficult for myself and even a lot of people to even imagine a price decline or some sort of deflationary event. Um, but they've happened in the past just as people thought it could never happen. And now we're in this bull run now of 12 plus years since the 2008 financial crisis. And uh, it seems like and it feels like to a lot of people that there's never going to be any sort of uh, price correction. And uh, that's the most dangerous time because when so many people are in the markets, when they're fearless, when they feel like the Fed's always going to be there with the money machine to keep the bubbles propped up and going higher and higher, uh, that historically has been the most dangerous time. Now, historically, what's happened in the past doesn't mean it's going to happen in the future. Um, you know, we don't know if and when this bubble is going to stop being blown up. And that's the scary part when you um, look at different experts and people that have been looking at the economy for decades, even they do not know if and when things are going to change or deflate or correct uh, any of that. So my, like you, like a lot of you, I'm here myself trying to figure a lot of this out. That's why we look at news. I read your comments. I learn from you. Hopefully you learn from this channel. And again, thank you very much for all your engagement here. Uh, another recent article article here, um, study finds, forget 2020, half of Americans now think 2021 was the worst year of their lives. And uh, the biggest uh, group, millennials aged 25 to 40, were the most dismissive of 2021, 66% saying it was a tough year. And um, out of this article, the ones that said 2021 was not an especially bad year for them those were the baby boomers so people that bought their homes back when one income one full-time job could easily afford you a home uh, a lot of them bought back then and uh, no surprise they're doing the easiest now uh, but yeah 2021 uh, the worst year for a lot of people about half of the people surveyed and uh, what's going to happen in 2022 well in my opinion i think we all need to fasten our seat belts because there's not much out there that's making me think that 2022 is going to be much better than 2021. If you do know something and you see something that's going to fix a lot of the problems we saw in 2021, if you see those things being fixed or corrected in 2022, please let me know down below. Uh, but I see much of the issues, many of the issues getting worse. Um, what's going to affect the supply chain? What's going to get things rolling again? Uh, they're talking about the sickness 2.0, 3.0, whatever it is now. And, um, you know, the supply chain, the rising prices, the inflation. One thing that we're going to keep our eye on is the um, the bank, the central bank, the money printer, saying that they're going to stop buying securities. We're going to keep our eye on the 10-year um, yield and also mortgage rates that tend to move together. And... We don't have to listen to what they say. We can listen, but then as far as seeing the outcome, we're going to look at the mortgage rates. And if they let mortgage rates go up, then that's when you know they're going to start deflating this bubble. We don't expect that to happen until if and when they do what they say they're going to do, and that's stop buying securities around March 2022. Of course, they could come out next week and say, we've totally changed our forecast. Now we need to do more 
liquidity injections. We need to do more QE. We need to buy more securities. That could happen at any time. But as of now, um, the uh, eyes and the timeline, we're looking at March 2022 as the start of uh, possibly something. And we're going to look for rates and see how uh, rates are manipulated. And if they're allowed to rise, then we know uh, that we may see a change in this economy. But until then, it's going to be rising prices, inflation everywhere, supply chain constraints, uh, banks loaning out endless amounts of money to help keep the bubble propped up. Uh, that's the way I see it for now. We're going to go ahead and wrap this one up, everybody. Thanks so much for being here. Again, hope you're having a Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays. Hope you're safe and warm, everybody. Uh, peace. Big love. Bye now.